Hey everybody, what's going on? Uh, just a quick video today. Um, I cracked out the Hooker Black Heart uh, exhaust kit here. Just kind of laid it on the floor, kind of get an idea of how these things lay out together. Um, trying to guesstimate where this thing's going to fit in the back of the car here. Um, and I wanted to ask you folks what you think about this here. Um, so these guys, you can see, this is a three inch exhaust. Um, so the default kit comes up to about right here. If you look up under the car, about there, you can see where the, the cats are there, right? So this kind of lines up right about there in the cats, which isn't gonna work. I knew that. Um, again, this is three inch, the cats are two and a half. Um, so I got uh, some reducers, uh, expanders, however you wanna look at it. Um, to go from the two and a half to the three. Um, so I'm gonna cut this thing back as appropriate. Um, but you can see these things have this weird angle on them. They kind of come down. I don't think there's enough room for me to put the reducer or whatever, like right up here. Um, I think I have to go further back, which unfortunately is gonna bring the, the exhaust down even further, which I don't really want. Not sure if it's going to matter because it doesn't really stick out any lower than the bottom of the cat there. Um, but anyway, so I was just going to clamp all this stuff up uh, straight for now. Um, and, but then at some point, when I get all that happy and together, I'll probably get this welded um, at least here. If I get the front part of it welded, I want to leave it unwelded in the back so I can take it apart and swap mufflers and stuff like that. So maybe the, the very back there has got to get some exhaust tips on it. Or there's an ex an, another piece that goes past there, but so I'll weld that part. But this probably weld this here, uh, and then this part weld on and um, a reducer expander or whatever here. But then uh, some kind of coupling between the um, cats and the pipes here, because I'm not going to weld that. I don't think. Um, so what kind of uh, a connector? Uh, would people use for these things. Now I'm familiar with the old uh, header style ones with the three bolts, um, but if you're putting something on here from scratch, what kind of uh, adapter, whatever connector would you use for that? I'd um, be curious what you guys think. Um, yeah, so I am astounded at how big these three inch exhaust pipes are, man. They're just so huge. You know, the, the two and a half versus three doesn't really seem like it makes a difference, but gosh, those things are gigantic. Uh, but it's good. Uh, this is 304, I think, stainless. I don't know my stainless. This is the non-magnetic stuff, so it's pretty nice. Um, all the welds, of course, are probably going to rust, but the uh, rest of it looks pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with the exhaust overall. Um, again, it's a bolt-in kit, so it should all just drop in there cleanly. Um, we'll see. Uh, this is a, just about sketchy here. Um, I measured the distance between the cats there. Um, and these things, in order to get that distance to match up, I think, because I'm, I'm just eyeballing it, um, I can hardly put these tubes in here. So they go just about to here. They don't go in there very far because um, I need the width. Um, you can also kind of you know, bend them a little bit like this, right? But not a lot. Um, so they're pretty close. Um, so I might have, if I'm welding it in, it's not going to matter, but uh, if I don't weld them in, then I might have to get longer ones of these um, down the road. But anyway, uh, just curious what you guys think. Um, let me know. Um, any thoughts or suggestions you have here? Uh, I'm still waiting for the reducers and stuff to come in from Summit, um, so I don't have those yet. So when those come in, then we can tackle this. It'll probably won't be this weekend, probably next weekend, but we'll see. Thanks, everybody. All right, so I added on a part two here. Um, under the car here, I'm looking at this upside down in the viewfinder, so it might be a little confusing here. So um, rear brake line here. So I was thinking originally of putting some kind of clamp around the rear end and bolting this thing to it. Um, <laughs> it's been so long since I was under here, I totally forgot this has these braces on here which means this thing's not round. So this is quite a complex shape here, which might be a little tricky. Um, so a couple of options here that I'm thinking about. So one, the easiest one, is just take this guy, sorry, and 
run a bolt through this. There's no uh, fluid inside this. It sits outside the tubes, at least I think. That's the way it was when I got it. These were added later, so it should be sealed. Um, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's true. That's an open hole right there. Sorry. Open hole right there. So this, there's no fluid in there. Um, so I could just take this guy, put a bolt through there, basically stick it to the bottom of this, and then I can run the brake lines from here off to each side. Um, that's the easiest thing to do. Um, the only downside to that is that the brake line here is under the car, under the rear end, um, which means it's susceptible to damage, but it is, you know, between uh, the doghouse here and the shocks, so it's not a, anywhere close to the lowest point here. Um, it's pretty far out of the way. I'm going to pull out here a little bit, a bit better shot. Uh, you see, that's pretty pretty clear of obstruction there. That would be easy to do. I can get a drill in there, obviously, and do that. The other option is to flip this guy around the top, up here, and do the same thing here. Um, two problems with this. I'm not going to be able to get a drill in there, so I'd have to drop the rear end, which I don't want to do. Number two, you can see this line right here would have to make this funny little um, to connect to that, so I don't like that very much. Um, so. What do y'all think about just sticking it right there? Is that, uh, anyone think that's going to be an issue? I'm just having this guy sit under here like this. Man, I'm sorry, it's hard to film upside down. Uh, having this under here somewhere and just bolted to it. Um, there's plenty of uh, travel on this guy both ways then. Um, that fuel filter assembly is not going to be there. I'm going to move that up in here, up in here somewhere. I haven't decided yet. Uh, so that would be the easiest thing to do. Let me know what you think about that. Um, yeah. And I also have to check the exhaust. Um, the exhaust, I think, is going to come up through this little opening right here. At least I hope so, because there's no other way it's going to work otherwise. They said it's designed to fit this um, Ford Link, so it's got to come in between, you know, in between here. Normally, the Camaro exhaust would come through right here, I think, but the Ford Link's in the way. Anywho. Um, is that right side up, upside down? I can't tell. I think that's right side up. Let me know what you think. Thanks, everybody.